Hello everyone. These days everyone is talking about AI agents in the chatbots. You can build these in different ways. They can answer your questions, they can help with the repetitive tasks or even act like the assistant for your team. But when it comes to using them inside an organization, the real question is where should you actually use them so that they can bring the most value out of that. And the answer is simple. Put them right where your team actually works. For most organization, that place is Microsoft Teams. Think about it. Teams is already the hub for daily communications, meeting, file sharing and collaboration. If you create an AI agent and then you can bring it directly into your teams, your employees won't have to switch to different tools. They don't have to log into another portal. They can just talk to the agent inside the team and get what they need. And that's when the agent becomes truly useful. So now let's talk about how you can bring an AI agent into the teams itself. And actually there are multiple ways. So the first one is using the Microsoft Copilot. So Copilot is deeply integrated with your Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Outlook, Excel or the Teams application. So it's really good if you want the AI application or AI support across your documents, emails or the chats. But the challenge with the Copilot is that it's a general purpose assistant. If you want a custom AI agent or custom solution that only focuses on your organization's data through the connection with the databases in Azure or which handles the IT help desk issues or some service portals, in that case, you need more control. And that is where the Azure AI Foundry and the Microsoft 365 agent toolkit comes in. So let's start with the Azure AI agent Foundry. Inside Azure AI Foundry, you have Azure AI agent service. This is where you can create and manage the agent. An agent here is basically a chatbot that is powered by LLM uh, or the GPT. And the great thing is that you can attach the different tools, knowledge tools or the action tools. And uh, for example, you have to just upload a document in the knowledge tool and then you can ask the agent, you can provide a context that you have to just provide the answer uh, from that document, which is a rag. And then all the answers will be more reliable and specific to your organization. Now, next is then you have to create a Python application because now you have to create a bridge between the team's application and the Azure AI Foundry agent. And so that when a user sends a message, it gets a response back to the teams through the Python application. Or you can use the different application which are supported by Microsoft 365 agent toolkit. So now let's talk about what is MS 365 agent toolkit. So it's the latest developer toolkit that is created by or released by Microsoft to help integrate the AI agents in Microsoft 365 application. So with this toolkit, what you can do is you can package your application or the agent then you can set up the right connectors and publish it into the team itself. So now, however, this agent toolkit works best with Copilot Studio. But in this case, I want to use the Azure AI agent service. So there is no a single click way or using the VS code extension way. So I'll be using the CLI method where I'll install the CLI, which is toolkit CLI and then package the application and upload in the teams and create a teams application and then show you how you can connect your agents which are connected in Azure AI agent service through Python and into your teams application. So I'll create an agent which will connect with the knowledge tools and I'll upload a HR policy document so that it answers the HR policy related questions. And once the application is working, then we'll publish it into the teams so that any user who can use that application can easily get the, those answers directly into the teams itself. So now I'll show the step-by-step -step deployment into the lab itself. I'm logged into Azure portal now and I'm into Azure AI Foundry. So click on Azure AI Foundry and what you have to do is you have to just create a new Foundry hub as well as the project. So you have to provide the resource group, the name, the region and the project name. That's all. Just deploy it. However, I have already created a Teams Hub 001 
and then what you have to do is you have to just go to Azure AI Foundry portal and in there go to the agents so when you will be going first time it will ask you to create an agent but for an agent you have to deploy a model and then you have to deploy a 4o or any supported model so if if you'll go here you can see that model is already deployed and i have already created the agents actually i have created multiple videos on this topic how to create an ai agent into azure ai foundry so you can check all those videos i can provide the link of those videos in the description also so what i've done is i have created an agent provided the name of it now it's an a, agent which doesn't use outside knowledge it just get the information from its knowledge tool so how i provided it is just click on add upload the files you have to just upload the files or you can just add it here manage or you can add more files so i have just added one file the policy hr policy document file for australian government now if you'll go to the playground it should be able to answer everything what is the dress code so it's looking through the document and it has provided the answer so this is the dress code which has to be followed from this document so that's perfect that means our agent is working now what we want is create a simple python application or node.js or whatever you want to use but in this in this lab demo what i'm going to show you is create a simple python application where we'll use this agent and just create a chatbot so let me open the vs code so now there are a lot of files but let's focus on the two files only app.py index.html and there is another one <laughs> requirements.txt so let's check app.py so first it's importing the variables then the endpoint I've already hard coded, but it's your call uh, because we will be deploying in the Azure App Service, so you can use the environment variables there. Otherwise, that's all good. And you have to provide the agent ID because we'll be using the agent ID. However, this will create multiple threads inside. We are not providing any API key. However, the Microsoft also doesn't recommend it, and in the documentation also for Azure AI Foundry agent service, you have to use the default credentials or the token system you can't use the api keys now so that means you have to use the managed identity which i'll show you how to how you can provide the access to the app service on the azure ai foundry agent so now it's getting the token authorization then creating the thread then the messages and little bit more detail on slash privacy it's just creating the different apis which is required by the teams uh, nothing more the terms and everything with when you upload an application these these api or these paths are required so that's all and then there will be chat application which and new conversation which can be created uh, you don't need it but these are just the add-ons you can use it okay so now let's quickly run this so there is a virtual environment already created so that's good now you have to install pip install hyphen hyphen r requirements.txt for me it's already done so i'll just run the python application should be running on port 5000 so let's quickly open Yep, so it's HR policy assistant and the look and feel I provided the front end and let's quickly chat with it. So it's working. That's all good. Okay. Now our application is working. So what next you have to do is deploy into app service. Go back to VS code. Install the app service extension. Azure app services. Install this. And automatically you'll start getting this azure now first time when you will log in it will ask you to sign in and hopefully i'm already signed in but let's see 
yep i'm already signed in so let's open my youtube lab so now it's showing the resources go to the azure app service and i have already created the app service so test team shalender 001 and what you have to do is uh, once this is done you have to click here deploy to the web app and just provide the folder i have already deployed it so i'll quickly show you so let me go to app service click on browse and the same application is running now what extra i have done is just provided the assistant id which you can get it from agents the id which will be provided here this is the assistant id the agent id is provided and the another one which i have done is go to the identity first enable the system assign manage identity once it's enabled then you have to assign the role assignment and here i have assigned the azure ai user on the resource group where i have created azure ai foundry so this is really important otherwise your application will not work because it will not have permission to connect to azure ai foundry so this permission is really required so once this is done your application is running that means now your application in app service is running another step is now to package it so let's go back to application so i've created a readme file let me open it in the preview so it shows the different files there is a manifest file you can use it there is a manifest template which shows so what is the url of the application so those url you have to provide so now the requirement to deploy an application in the teams is that you need three files one is the color png which is the icon of the application will look like the outline and the manifest file manifest file contains the details so this is the template which you can use and this is the file which i've created so now it contains the website url and what it what the name of the application will be and that's all these are most of the details you can just quickly zip the file uh, however there is another way which i'll show you and there is another agents.yml file so this is for uh, now microsoft 365 agents toolkit it can you can deploy into multiple environment so now if you go to the environment there is environment dev so all the details are provided here so this is the application where it's deployed host domain name application version and everything it's here so if you change the application version you can just change it here and it will package it for you so if i'll just make it 1.3 uh, then it will just pick up from here and just package it and create a package for you or a zip file for you which you have to upload in the teams so all these details are already provided here so now this is the environment variables which you have to provide the yaml file the generate icons this is for generating the icons this is just an add-on you don't need that if you ha already have the icons for for your application that's all good and these are the two which are there so now what you have to do is you have to install uh, the m365 agent toolkit cli i have already installed it so let me quickly show should already already be there let's see so icons are already there and you have to prepare the manifest file so manifest file if you'll go there oh, there is a version provide it here also and it's clearly mentioned what you have to do so everything ran perfectly and then you have to provide these environment variables which are provided and then you have to define the ml file and you have to check whether this manifest file which is created and you have to validate it so but right now i cannot write so 
So instead of the template file, we have to provide the link for the manifest file. So let's see. And perfect, there is no issue. And then you have to package the application. So let's, uh, my bad. So let's run this. And this package is created. And you can just copy it into the different folder, destination folder. It's completely your call. Otherwise, package is created. And you have to upload it dev.teams.microsoft.com. So, but before that, I want to show you that if I'll go to my Teams, let me open teams.microsoft.com. Okay, I'm logged into Teams now. And if I'll go to the application, this is the application if you click on build for your organization. So if I'll click open, the same application opens here and it's working. So I have already deployed it because I was testing it and it takes time because when you allow an application sometimes it takes few minutes to few hours so it doesn't come in immediately so that's the reason i have already deployed it but i'll show you how you can do it so let's go to dev.teams.microsoft.com you should have those permissions once you are here create on import an application and then go to your application app package build dev no issue is found import and then what you have to do is you have to click on distribute and publish to your organization now because it's already deployed so what you have to do is submit a new update so once you do that or if, but in your case if you'll be doing first time then it will just quickly show you, okay, it's done. And then you have to go to admin portal and approve it. So once this will be done, once um, an app is app update is submitted, like here, 1.3, we provided the version and it's done. So now open admin.teams.microsoft.com. And there you have to go in the Teams, manage applications and name of the application is hr policy assistant here it is so when you click here there is it's clearly showing publish an update because there is an update which is pending and you click on it 1.3 version which is correct and it's submitted okay it's perfect it may take few hours before the status is updated and once it's working then automatically the app will be updated here you have to just refresh it and it will be all perfect and to just check the new versions always uh, in the index.html just make the version here so that you know that's a new version right now it will not be possible but if you'll check here it's working so now application in your teams will be working so initially because it creates a thread sometimes first message it takes a bit of time but if you'll ask the next question it will be a bit faster so perfect it's it's working you have deployed the application so to summarize this video we have first created an ai agent into azure ai foundry agent service then we have used that agent into the python application deployed that python application into uh, the azure app service then we we package that application using the microsoft 365 agent toolkit once that is done we'll use the same application which is using the azure ai agent into our teams itself and that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much